Hey Reefers, how's everybody doing? Wanted to take some time to make a quick video on my Bulk Roof Supply 6 stage Universal Water Saver Plus system. This is the first RODI system that I've ever purchased and I can honestly say this will very likely be the last one I will ever need to own or desire to own for that matter. The system, it's got a whole lot of features for basically any type of setup that you want to do in terms of how you actually connect it. You have several different options. Some of them are for the faucet, some have dedicated drain lines for the plumbing. You, any type of system, or so, I'm sorry, setup that you want to create, you can easily do with this one. In terms of my system specifically, I have it set up to where it feeds off of the water supply to the washing machine, where I picked up a two-way valve at uh, Home Depot. I think it was only for about three or four dollars. The, um, the lines on there, as you can see, it says cold up here and it has the hot water line on there I'll address that quickly because I'm sure someone's gonna notice it but basically when I had this line on the hot water side it was leaking so I just switched them out everything is working perfectly fine now uh, getting back into the system there's a little valve on there that when I want to turn the water on or off I simply open the valve or close the valve and it starts to feed the system here one of the nice I guess features that they have on the system is a pressure valve where the pressure that's coming into the system is extremely important because it does affect the efficiency of it anything over 50 psi is good anything less than that you're going to want to buy one of their booster pumps that they sell on brs's website i don't know what the cost is i haven't had a need to use one uh, as you can see the pressure runs at about 60 and the higher the pressure, which I think the max you can actually sustain on this system is 80 PSI. But anywhere between 50 to 80 PSI, the higher you get, the more efficiently your system's going to run. BRS doesn't really make any claims of what the ratio is of fresh water to wastewater, but I can honestly tell you on my system, I'm getting at about a 50-50 ratio. That's 50% fresh water to 50% wastewater, which I've got it feeding into these two brute trash cans. And I'll make another video on the system that I have here just so you guys can kind of see how efficient it is to actually make a decent system. But getting back to it, the filters do last quite a while. I filled up that 32 gallon brew trash can somewhere between 9 to 11 times. I haven't really kept track on it. And that does include the uh, break in period that you have for these filters. The system comes with your uh, basic sediment filter, two of the carbon blocks, and then two of the DI resins. As you can see, the DI resin is starting to change color. That's one of the features that they, that they include with that type of resin, which is actually pretty good because it'll help you identify when the filters need to be changed. To kind of make it dummy proof, Bulk Reef Supply also keep, I'm sorry, uh, also sets you up with a triple TDS meter. Uh, TDS, for those of you that don't know, stands for Total Dissolved Solids. And that helps you figure out if you uh, have any contaminants that are going into your fresh water. The system actually has three different sensors on there. Uh, the first one is coming in from line one. So these three feed into the DI resins and you get to read what the uh, TDS is coming out of the first stage there. So if you come over here, when you switch it to line one, you can see it run on my system right now. It's running at about 12 parts per million, which it's been running about 11 to 14 since I bought it. So the uh, the first filters I'm sure are still doing well, but I'll I'll change them all out um, as soon as I get an opportunity. If we step back here for a second, the second sensor is actually behind the first DI resin. So you get to read what the uh, TDS is coming out of the first DI resin. Then this is uh, the third sensor there on the second DI resin system. So we'll go ahead and switch over to line two. And again, it's, it's showing that it's about two parts per million. So that's reading this first canister. Switch over to three and it shows zero. So out of the second and last DI resin, the fresh water is coming out at zero parts per million on the TDS, which is obviously where we want to be. 
that's going to be a best indication to know when your filters need to be changed aside from the discoloration which is a part of the a part of the process so as the di resin gets exhausted it changes colors but to make it kind of dumb, dummy proof just take a look at your tds meter and that'll tell you the system when you buy it it does come with all the filters pre-installed so all you have to do is decide which way you want to hook it up and it only takes about five minutes because generally everything else is already plumbed and ready to go as far as the pricing on it i'm not too sure because i know i've seen it kind of fluctuate on the website somewhere between 56 to 59 dollars will set you up with all the filters that you're going to need and you don't really have to worry about these ro dow membranes because they do according to brs they last summer between two to five years depending on how you maintain your system i didn't really understand that until i started reading up on it but in terms of maintenance of course that includes changing out your filters when it needs to and i hope you guys can see it but there's actually a valve on the back here but this valve when you when you open it up it'll start to flush all the water out of those membranes and i'll show you right now but this is my wastewater tank if we if we sh open up that valve you're gonna see it drops the pressure and i don't know if you guys can hear it all that well but right now it's dumping out a whole lot of wastewater which in essence that's cleaning out those dowel membranes um, of course the cleaner they are the longer they're gonna last so if I come back here and shut off the valve it brings the pressure back up so now it's flowing the water through all the systems here and essentially it's for me it's producing about a 50 50 ratio again everybody's gonna be different depending on your water pressure and um, I'm sure the water quality coming in from the city is also going to affect it. If you're, I guess, a little OCD or trying to figure out what kind of contaminants, I'm sorry, uh, cleaning agents you have in your water system, they do include this free and total chlorine testing strips. Uh, what this is going to do is just going to kind of identify if you have chlorine or chloramine coming out of your, your water supply from the city lines. On this system it doesn't really make a difference because it's going to actually take care of both of those but again for those of you that want to know about it they do include those nifty little test strips just so you can kind of find out but um that's pretty much it i uh haven't had any issues with it after using it for about five or six months i'm gonna end up needing to replace the filters but you know again they they have lasted me quite a while and they're relatively inexpensive I can honestly say just an unbiased opinion from you know a regular reefer that these uh this system here it, it, even though it costs a little over three hundred dollars it is well worth the investment especially if you plan on staying in the hobby for a long time i know for me i was going to my local fish store about every week and buying somewhere between 20 to 30 dollars worth of fresh and salt water and i just kind of got tired of it so after lugging all those jugs around i figured let's make an investment and you know save some time save some money and create our own system here but thankfully bulk Roo supply and all their experience has got it right uh, i highly recommend it if you guys have an opportunity you know i would strongly suggest recommending into a brs system i know there's different options out there uh, again i don't have any experience with other systems but at a 50 50 uh, fresh water to wastewater ratio i don't really see myself getting any better than that uh, that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions please send me an email shoot me a comment and i definitely appreciate any new subscribers and even my old subscribers that have stuck around with me for all this time thank you very much and have a good evening